Hi, and welcome to this video tutorial about OverDrive eBooks. OverDrive eBooks is a new collection for the COS library, so let's take a look at how it works. Right now I'm on the library's homepage, and I'm going to go to Articles and Databases, just like I would for other eBook collections and databases. I'll click on the eBooks button, and you can see it down here in the list for OverDrive. So just click on the name to go to the collection. Right now, the OverDrive collection is primarily supplemental readings and textbooks for classes. So there are a couple of ways that you can search OverDrive. You can type in a search by clicking on the search icon. And then once you start typing, usually you'll see your title come up. Or I'm going to click on the COS logo to go back to that homepage. Um, there are also different categories. So you could see all the English class readings by clicking on the See All link or just added. We'll show you all the uh, newest ones that have been added. Again, there's a see all link, so you can look for those links as well. So to see more information about a title, um, you can either just click on the title or you can click on the title. And from here, you can listen to a sample. If this was an ebook, you'd be able to read a sample. If you know it's something that you want, you'll just borrow the item. And here's where you'll be prompted to type in your COS email address and password. And once you do that, it is actually checked out um, to you. And that means that nobody else can read it. Only a certain number of people can use a title at the same time. So now that I'm in the checkout process, it's going to ask me how many days I'd like it for. I can pick 7, 14, or 21. So just click on whichever one you want and then borrow. And now that I've checked it out, I can either uh, listen to this. This is an audiobook, so I can listen to it in my browser or I can download it. So um, if I want to download it and use it in the Libby app, um, then I can do that. And I'll show you how to get the Libby app in just a minute. So I can download that when I'm, I can always go to loans. That will show me how many items I've got checked out. So since I'm doing a demo here, I have both the audiobook and the ebook checked out right now. When I'm done with the title, all I need to do is click on return. Since I've got an ebook here, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, you've got a few more options with ebooks because it also allows you to um, read it on your Kindle. So if you have a Kindle, um, if you click Read Now with Kindle, it will bump you over to your Amazon account. And then once you kind of um, check it out in Amazon, then you'll um, be able to download it onto your Kindle. Again, you can read it in your browser or you can download it into the Libby app um, to be able to do that. And again, the Libby app is the app um, that goes with OverDrive. And there's a link to the Libby app right here. So to be able to return something when you're done, just click on the return button, return title, and that will free the item up for someone else to use it. So now I'd like to show you how to place a hold on an item. As I mentioned, there's a limit to the number of people who can use a single title at once. So for example, if I was interested in the book Cabo Beauty School, um, I can see right here it says place a hold instead of borrow. So if I'd like to get on the waiting list for that item so that I'm notified when um, the people using it are finished, I just click on the title and then I can click on place a hold. And so from here, it's going to ask me to log in with my email address again so that it can notify me when it's ready. And we'll just, and then place a hold. And so it says that I'm number one uh, in the waiting list. And so I'll be notified when that's done. So in addition to the advantage of being notified when the book is available, um, it also lets a library see if uh, there are a lot of people waiting for one title so that maybe we can purchase more copies. So definitely take advantage of uh, the whole system. The last thing I wanted to show you is how to get the Libby app when you're on a mobile device. Uh, OverDrive makes it very easy right from the OverDrive homepage. You can see the links to the App Store and Google Play. I'm on an iPad, so I'm going to go to the App Store. And then you'll just click on uh, Get in order to download the Libby app. 
please contact the library if you have any questions about using OverDrive. Thanks for watching!